Mr. Woodruff? We estimate you have 30 days left. Newsflash, y'all. Ain't nothing out there can kill Ron Woodruff in 30 days. He's already won a Best Actor Gong at the Critics' Choice Awards, Screen Actors Guild Awards and Golden Globes, and Matthew McConaughey's hotly tipped for an Oscar for his lead role in Dallas Buyers Club. So we wanted to know if he's written a winner's speech. No. No. There's a, you know, I, yeah, I, I learned this when I was in the, the Golden Globes was the first one, and I'm sitting there thinking, well, what do I say if I win? And then I started thinking in my head what I would say, and I caught myself. I was going, wait a minute, that's you're going to gonna coup de gras this whole thing. You know what the coup de gras is? The, the finishing blow. I was like, you can't prepare a speech for something you haven't won yet. And uh, then they called my name. Then I got up there and I had, I've got plenty of things to be thankful for. So I, I find words up there pretty easily. The usually buff actor had to go on an extreme diet to portray the role of Ron Woodruff, a man diagnosed with HIV. And he says as a result, he developed some new cravings. Well, what I tell you what I found, and this has been misprinted because when I said this the other day, someone said it's all I ate, which is not true. But I found tapioca pudding while on this diet. And that, I'd never had it. And when you're, when you're really that hungry, something that sweet was, I made it last. I'd make, it the, I'd make this little two ounces of tapioca pudding last like 45 minutes. <laughs> I'd eat it with the smallest spoon possible. And I was just like, oh. It was beautiful. McConaughey's co-star Jared Leto also had to undergo a physical transformation to play the role of a transgender woman. But the actor says he wasn't nervous about portraying a female. I thought the role was excellent. I was incredibly excited about it, um, about the challenges. I thought it was beautifully written and, you know, devastating, really uh, heartbreaking. But I, I, I certainly wasn't nervous about the fact that I was playing this transgender woman. Uh, I thought that was a really uh, new and exciting opportunity. He also says he didn't want to turn the character into a stereotype. Yeah, I didn't want to just rely on, you know, some of what we've seen before, which is, you know, a drag queen who's always funny, um, someone that we never really get to know, uh, who, who, uh, is there just for amusement um, and is is rather two dimensional. Uh, so and, and and there were kind of a there's a long list of of, of don'ts um, there. And I, I I guess I thought it was an opportunity to to bring to life someone really special and unique and uh, real. Dallas Buyers Club hits cinemas on the seventh of February. Just let me be your ticket home.